Modern science is giving biologists a helping hand in their quest to find out where bull trout are living in remote streams that feed the Snake River. So today we're on the Snake River below Hell's Canyon Dam about 18 miles at the mouth of uh, Sheep Creek which is an Idaho tributary to the Snake River. As part of a region-wide project led by the U.S. Forest Service, Idaho Power is surveying tributaries that flow into the Snake River in the Hell's Canyon complex to see where bull trout live. This native fish species is listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. So what we're doing is we're collecting um, environmental DNA, eDNA uh, is, is how it's referred to. And essentially what we're doing is we're going out and collecting water samples and trying to find DNA from bull trout. We're pumping five liters of water at every site that we go to and we're filtering out any DNA that's in the stream at those sites. And if there are bull trout in the stream, we'll collect the eDNA, DNA in those samples and then the lab processes those samples and it gives us a presence or absence of the species at that site. There's a lot of advantages to using this approach, but one of them is you don't need to see this, the animal and you don't need to handle the animal to know that it's there. That's important because these fish are under pressure from a host of environmental factors, including climate change. The Forest Service have developed a, a climate shield model where they've gotten lots and lots of temperature data over the last 10 years to look at the effects of climate change on shrinking bull trout habitats across their range. And five, three, five, the technique five, is not only better for the fish, five, four, it's better for the four, company and the four, researchers. eDNA sampling costs about one-tenth of other methods and is more accurate than fishing or snorkeling surveys. But one thing remains unchanged. Researchers still have to hike into the Hell's Canyon backcountry. Sometimes we're going in six, seven, eight miles into remote locations that may or may not have trails, uh, rugged, and yeah, it's, it's not easy. And really there's no other technique to sample those types of places other than this, this new, newly developed DNA technique. Reporting for E-News, this is Brad Bowen with videographer Lon Van Wyck.